Hey there, Dominic here with a word about the patch tool in Modo 601. So when you go to your basic tab over here, right click, you have a tool patch curves. Right now it's grayed out because there is no geometry to work on, no geometry to patch. You can also go to your geometry menu over here and go to your curve palette, click on it and you get a curve palette. And I'm not really going to make a tutorial about curves. Uh, these are very straightforward to use. Uh, I suggest you check out the manual. Uh, I'm going to s choose Curve tool and on the work plane draw out a curve. Shift click to create a new one. Drop the tool by pressing spacebar. Now select these two vertices and press Shift O. And you see over here Shift O makes an open curve. Again, select these vertices and you see when these vertices are selected, you see that make open curve and make a closed curve becomes available. So shift O, go to my edge tab, add point, click and over here shift click and I will have two points, R to scale and drop the tool by pressing spacebar. In polygon mode you see that I have one, two, three, four polygons now and they are all connected because when I selected these vertices and shift O it made the curve in between but you see over here these two vertices though so these are curves that are connected to one another and now I can use the patch tool control D to reset my tool so the patch tool by default says mode extends but in order to de define a patch, I have to go to Mode, Define Patch. And still nothing happens, because I now have to first click in the viewport. And now when I've clicked in the viewport, you see that these widgets have become available. And now I can start defining my patch. And I have to do this by clicking on these knots in order. So I can not go from over here to that side, and then to this one. No, I have to click from here in that order or from here in this order but I can also start from here so let's say I'm going to start click here then go to here click then to there click and now to that the last one click and seemingly nothing has happened but this is because my polygon is flipped so I can check on flip and you see a big polygon has been created between those curves and while this is active I can edit it so I can for instance say move knot and now the knots become available for editing so I can redefine the shape. I can also move the entire edge in edge, uh, move edge mode so now the entire edge is being moved when I click on the widgets and drag and I can also edit the edge. So when I go to mode edit edge, now this one is active. Let's say that I want to edit this one. So I'm going to hover, hover over that widget and click on it. And now I can say, for instance, I want three knots over here. And when I go to move knot, now you see I have three knots in between that I can manipulate. Like that. And of course, this is one big polygon. I also can give it a number of segments by checking freeze over here and then perpendicular and parallel become available and now I can say for instance I want 5 uh, or better over here 10 and over here 5 segments like that which one is perpendicular and which one is parallel that actually depends on where you started your defining patch so uh, that is a bit of trial and or error when you see well I don't I want over here 10 and you say and and well it's it's like what I, I did earlier um, first I had 10 10 and I wanted to make this 5 and I saw well this no I want over here 10 so it's a bit of trial and error to see which side you want uh, I will I'll always forget where I start to click which one is perpendicular and which one is parallel not a big deal so I can also move the knots in other directions like that I cannot edit multiple knots at once so like that I have also an extent and extent 
only works well in on one side so for instance if I go and do this that's okay and then this one will be okay also and I mean okay with the fact that now the geometry is flowing uh, nicely but when I choose this one you see it's not the same geometry Control Z to undo over here also so you see I have one two three four five and here ten so it's only one side that actually lets you easily extend and I can move the edge entirely like that yeah, like that move the knots and of course also edit these newly created edges so when I click for instance on this one and now set my number of knots to zero and now go to move knot you see I have no knots in between I only can edit the outside so you see it can be pretty useful to use the patch tool when I press spacebar I grab the tool now I can double click on this geometry press ctrl x to cut everything N for a new layer and ctrl v to paste when I go back to my previous layer now I could for instance create new curves so I'm going to select these two shift O for a new curve these two shift O for a new curve I could add vertices edge add point click on it W to move and go back to my patch tool click in the viewport set define patch and now the other curves also of course have their widgets so it can be a bit difficult to see which knots you will need so again in order click one click two click three and click four and I have a new patch and depending I have so you see right now I have thin spans like in the horizontal direction and five in a vertical direction so I have to flip it in order to make it follow the already created geometry so a go okay so now these follow the geometry that has already been created and again so while the tool is active I can extend it I can uh, so maybe I could do that extend and try if this one is a good one yep and now I could edit this edge click on this one and say I want one knot move the knot and make it follow the contours of that other created geometry like that I will have to merge vertices of course uh, over there I have only one knot but I see, I see that I don't have the same number of loops as I have over there so I will have to edit afterwards anyway okay grab the tool control click control X to cut control V to paste in that other layer and you see now I could double click these edges backspace to clear them and now I will have to merge these vertices or I could also go to my vertex merge tool and click in the viewport and drag and have them merged don't click too far because then too many vertices will get merged so I think they all have been merged drop the tool no not all of them I'm going to hide this one and I think I have done something wrong anyway you, you will have to do a bit of cleanup like that I never do that extent edges but you see you could um, and on top of that personally I like to I prefer to work in sub D's but I just wanted to show you the patch tool so control M to clear everything backspace uh, 
So remember, you can work with three curves or four curves. It's best to work with three curves. Shift O creates an open curve. Select these vertices. Shift O creates an open curve. So in polygon mode, you see one, two, three, four polygons. Patch tool. Click in the viewport. Define patch in order just like that and I have a patch and while this is active I can move just like I've shown you before move everything I can extend it never really use that move the entire edge and edit the edge this is useful to give it more knots and when I go back to move knots then I get really different geometry Just like that. Control X to cut, and new layer, control V to paste, sub tool, control one, control one, toggle verts, control one, toggle wireframe, hides my background layer, shift A to fit everything, and you see I have this geometry. So it patch tool can be very useful to create geometry with curves. And I wanted also to show you this, so control M backspace to clear everything and to show my work plane. You can also start from geometry, so when I, for instance, create a polygon and I'm going to create a second one over here, select this one, shift D, faceted, shift D to subdivide it, OK. I'm going to basic center selected. Uh, well, not not that important. I'm going to move it over a bit, like that. Again, patch tools. Now, when I click in the viewport, you see that every polygon has gotten its own patch. So what has happened? This big polygon, <coughs> four curves have been created around it. And here I had four polygons, and each polygon has gotten a curve around its edge and a patch. So you can start from actual geometry. And again, I can move while this is active, I can move the knots. The only thing you have to be aware of is that those original polygons are still there, so you will have to cut them. So you see right now. You see the big polygon is still there. The other patches are also there, but you will have to select the big polygons or select the small polygons, smaller poly the patches I mean, and cut them into a new layer. And so I can also edit the edge. So for instance, this edge, and I want to give it three knots. And now go to move knots, just like that. And they are flipped, so I'm going to press the F key to uh, the uncheck flip so that they are facing f to the front. So now when I drop the tool, you see that, yep, I have that one big polygon, control X to cut it. I've also control Z to undo, also selected a little one, so I'm going to do it like that, no, like that, and select through to unselect them, control X and control V, so you see. When I had this background layer, this was my original polygon, that was still there. And I cannot double click it, Control X, you see, because I also, so Control Z, I also select by double clicking the big ones. So click, click, you have to move around a bit to, yep, click, shift click, and this other one, where is it? I know there is a big one still there, yep, over there, Control X to cut to that layer, Control v to paste, you see those original polygons were still there, but now, and Control sh shift con double click Control x new layer, Control v to paste hide my other layers, go to press tab to sub-D, hide my grid and work plane, and you see I have created patches from existing geometry and 
behind this one from this existing geometry but just remember that when you do it with geometry those original polygons stay there so you will have to select them and cut them away so simple introduction to the patch tool hope you found it useful this was dominic bye for now